Right. All right. David, it's been a little easier entrance uh, today than last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it uh, kind of instant impact, obviously. And <coughs> yeah. The other day, I can just uh, talk yeah, that's, a little bit that was. That's always good to start a game like that. Um, you know, we always defer. You know, we won the toss, we defer, and then you kick off, and you're really stealing a possession. Huge. You got, and especially in a game like that, when it, it could come down to who has the ball last. So, you know, we were able to steal one there, knowing that we were going to get it in the second half. That was huge. And then the way our offense came out and scored right away and just got the ball rolling, uh, it, it was good for the whole team. You guys, I guess you could never sleep super easy with kickers. I know we've talked about that in a lot of kicks missed this year. But just how impressed were, with, were you with how you guys did last week in that department on the short week, short notice on a kid coming in and, and doing really well? Yeah, we had a little bit more time, uh, you know, to work with Matt uh, this week than we did the first week with right. the other Matt, uh, so, um, which was good. And, and then uh, I was really pleased the way he handled it. He's, he's got a really good uh, mental aspect. You know, I mean, that's where you find out is he kicked well in practice and stuff, but in the games, I mean, being able to make really seven field goals, really what it comes down to, you know, extra point is a field goal just as, well, as much. So uh, being able to make so all seven in that last game, that was big, uh, you know, on a Sunday night football game. And you, I mean, I guess you don't really know until you're in that game situation. Right. And take you back to the, through the Colts game, you missed that short week against the Chargers, and then it seemed from the outside looking in that maybe Evan Zola lost some confidence very early there. Do you see that on the sideline, or how do you read that? He, he actually had a, you know, going back to Evan Zola, I mean, he had a great pregame. I mean, so, you know, you miss one, and then you know, then the confidence gets a little shaky. So, I mean, that's that's with everybody. You know, that, that, you know uh, mental toughness is, is such a big thing for a kicker. You know, it, it's like a, a, a golfer making a short putt that, all of a sudden, it becomes huge, you know, and, and he, he just or he just did a good job in that game for us. Hey, you have some of the new guys on special teams, uh, so much turnover from last year. Who are some of the new guys that are standing out? In uh, you know, Cochran's doing a good job. Elijah Lee is is playing outstanding uh, right now for us. Um, uh, you know, all the young guys. I mean, uh, Chanel is doing great. Cook is doing good. I mean, all these guys are playing a lot of reps, you know, for us. And, you know, Lammons, obviously, we, we knew he was good last year, and he's – Obviously, knocked that ball out. That was his knee that ended up punching that ball out. And, but he's around the ball all the time. He's somebody you have to deal with. He's not a new player, but uh, those are guys that are playing well. And with, with Cook, I think there was one kickoff return. He kind of knocked three guys into each he other. Did. He did. He knocked. He blocked his man. He he knocked his man into another guy. Knocked him down. He got two knockdowns, a block, and then two knockdowns. That, that's in our production system. That's what he got on that one play. So I'm just happy with you know. And then Pacheco running down the field, you know, on kickoff and just. I mean, I was a defensive end. He just, ba boom, you know, put him on his back. You know, that's a great two gap. That's what we call that. Uh, you know what he did there, and then he's just playing so hard. Everything he does, he plays so hard. You mentioned some of the guys that you, the new guys, you brought back. Uh, the Chiefs brought back Marcus Kemp. I mean, how happy are you to have him? Yeah, I mean, our, our our stable of players that we have on the scout team. I mean, we could take those guys on the road and and, and win some football games. I mean, there's a lot of good players over there, and. Uh, you know, on the practice squad. So, um, you know, that, that's a credit to Veach and being able to, uh, you know, because it's a long season. We're only in week five. I mean, we got a long way to go, and, and those guys are all going to come into play as the season goes on. So, uh, you know, we're happy to have them. Not, not only, I mean, for that, but for practice. I mean, they make us better, you know, in practice. Our, our, our practices are harder sometimes than, than what we're going to get in the game, and that's what you want. That's what we try to create in practice. That's, you know, that's one of the things that Coach uh, – Reed emphasizes is, is how hard we practice. It's it's different from other teams, and, and I, I think that makes a big difference. With, with Camp and you know Elijah Lee and some of the moves you guys have been making, how nice has it made your life, given the fact that you kind of turned the fifty three into like almost like a fifty. Yeah, it's the new rules, really. I mean, I, I talked about this before about you know the new rules that they put in with COVID, where you can pull a guy off the practice squad, and they have three elevations, and you can put a guy down and. It, it is. I mean, your your practice squad is is an extension of your 53 now. The way the rules are, and, and everybody's doing it. The whole league is, is is doing the same thing. You'll see guys getting elevated, different guys all the time, and it gives you a lot more uh, flexibility. Uh, and it's really good for special teams coaches. You know, you, you wouldn't you get caught with your pants down sometimes in other situations. You know, when it was the old rules. 
Harrison's not going to go again today. Is it? He did practice one day last week. Is he? Yeah, he he tried he tried to go, but he was working on one steps and it's not you know he's a two he he wants to have his full uh, you know his full. Um, uh, approach, you know, he doesn't want to use a half approach. I don't blame him, and, and he's he still has a lot of pain, you know, and and he's got swelling in that ankle. It, it was, uh, you know, evidently a little bit worse than what you think. You know, I mean, everybody heals differently, and uh, so it's just going to take time to get him back. But we want, you know, obviously we want a full 100% bucker, and like I said before, we got a long season to go. So, but we'll be happy when he's 100%. We don't want to try to force him back, and all of a sudden gets a regression. You know, we definitely don't want that. He's got a lot of weeks in the bank now, healing, and we've just got to, we got to get him over the top now. How much of the Wright's performance kind of ease that pressure? It does. It helps. I mean, we're not out looking for a kicker right now. I mean, like <laughs> we, we did uh, the other week. So uh, we like we like Matt. We like the job he did last week. Now you got to put it together and do it again. You know, that's it's about consistency all the time. I mean, what do you feel like his range is? I understand there's yeah. a little bit of that's yeah, a good question. We we really didn't test his range in that last game. I, the longest field goal he hit was a 44, I think. Uh, but uh, in warmups, you know, he was hitting 51s, 53s consistently. You know, we you know we feel like we could take him back. You know, at least that far. Okay, thanks, guys. Right, thanks. Yeah, See you.